Hey, in this video we're going to go over how to make some basic materials and from this you'll be able to create more complex materials. Um, so if we open up the scene basic materials setup and one thing that we'll quickly go over is in customize you go to customize UI and default switcher you want to change this to max V-Ray and hit set what this will do will make all your defaults and presets to V-Ray which will come in handy um, and it will change all your materials to V-Ray materials which we'll be using so the first thing we'll do is rename this material, the first material we'll make is a chrome metal at the moment we're just using the studio scene from earlier lessons and we've got the settings set to preview so in your material editor the diffuse is what colour your object will be and your reflection will show will be how reflective your object is so if we turn on this background switch you get to see here if we double click it will open up in a new window so you get to see it so you'll see as we change the reflective color the more reflective it will be so black will be no reflection at all mid gray will be sort of mid reflections and white will be full reflections but you never want to have these on full black 000 or full white 255. So if you do need white, just, just have it just off. For the chrome material, we want to change it to black. We'll change it just to 111. Because in the real world, you'll never have anything that's pure black or pure white. So this is going to add to the realism. And then your reflection. You're going to want to change that to as white as possible. And also turn off Fresnel Reflections. Assign to Selection. And hit Render. And there we have our Chrome material. So if we click and drag this and put it onto a new slot, we'll make a duplicate. duplicate. And uh, we will change this to brushed metal. And we can keep the diffuse as black, the reflection as white. Um, you'll see that, we'll close this one, open this one, the reflections are extremely. Um, well, the surface is very sort of pure reflective, there's no blur in the reflections. So, what we want to do is change this reflective glossiness. So, if we bring that down to 0.65, you'll see in the, in the uh, preview that that's changed. So, we can assign that material to selection now. So, if you, whatever material in the material that you select, and then this button here will assign it to whatever you've got selected in the scene. So, put the brush metal on and then hit render, and you'll see the effect of the reflective glossiness. So, you can play about with that. I mean, if you change it to 0.85, you can look at the effect of that. So, now let's make a plastic material. We can just start with a new, a new slot here and we'll name it plastic. And this one will keep the Fresnel reflections on. So basically, the rule for this is if, if it's not metal, then this needs to be ticked on. Um, diffuse will be the colour of the plastic. We'll close that. We'll open this preview just to see what we're doing a bit better. And the reflections, we want to add some, so we we'll put like a mid grey on it. And we'll 
apply that selection and we'll hit render and see what we get so again very very crisp reflection so in reflective glossiness let's bring that down to let's try 0.7 let's see what we get and that's looking a lot better already that's cool you can use that as a basic plastic Next up, let's make some glass. So we'll name, make sure you name all your materials. Help in the future. And we'll assign that. And we'll assign that to our sample. So let's change the diffuse all the way to black. And the reflection we can change to a mid grey. Now refract works in the same way as the reflection. So black, there'll be no transparency. Mid grey, halfway. Full white will be highly transparent. So for glass, we're going to want it just off white. And we can apply that. And we can hit render. And there's our glass material. Right, lastly, let's take a look at some wood. So this time, let's apply that. So let's apply this wood. And in the diffuse, rather than having a color, if we click this box, we'll be able to add a texture instead. So double click on bitmap. And if we go to our textures folder, and we'll find the wood veneer. And click open, you'll see that it will apply the texture. If we hit show shading material on viewport, we'll be able to see it on in the viewport. So it's good. And if you hit go to parent, we'll go up a level. In the reflections, we will put a mid gray. And let's change the reflective gloss to 0.8. Let's hit render and see what we get. Alright, there's our wood material. Now we can go, this, this is just setting up the basics. Um, we'll go into more depth later on. Just a quick example, if we go into maps, further down, we'll go to bump. A bitmap, we can add the wood bump, and if we hit render, we'll see the effect that the bump has. We'll go into this again in another lesson. It's probably too much. Let's put that down to 10. We'll try that again. So what we want to do now is in render setup, close this window, um, we'll change our preset to final, just so we can see how it looks in prior settings. If we hit render. Okay, I just paused the video to speed things up for you. Um, here's our render with the final presets. So in this lesson we've learned how to create the basic materials chrome, plastic, glass and wood.